head. My internet is really hitting the gritty. <laughs> okay, that's actually the quickest. It, that's actually been the fastest that's been down at least, so that's something. I just... I need to talk to my parents about why the fuck the internet keeps cutting out lately. I feel like I need an explanation. Because I don't feel like I should plan my schedule for how I stream based on when the Wi-Fi goes out. Y you know? That shit hit the gritty. Oh fuck, he's hitting the gritty. <laughs> But yes, indeed, the Wi-Fi is indeed hitting the gritty. I'm trying to remember where I put all these things. Yeah, put it in this box. Stairs. Ah. Can't even make that many stairs. Hmm? Who added me? I just walked in and I saw Jesus performing the cleanest gritty. <laughs> so I'll check on the, that, those wine barrels in like a year. So hopefully that'll be done. That'll probably be done within the next year. <laughs> You guys want me to go into Scooby Doo lore? <laughs> because I'm re watching the entirety of Scooby Doo Mystery Incorporated, and I'm just going like, why the fuck is this show so weird, and why, and why do I love it so much? But I realized it's because, I, because I'm autistic. Well, I'm, I have ADHD at least, and I do have autism. That much has been proven. But. Like, I'm going to my mom, I'm actually very, so high-functioning that any assistance would actually be an insult. <laughs> so, yeah, is that. But, uh, Skippy Doo History Incorporated Lord, let's go! <laughs> uh, oh god, where do I start? <laughs> where do I start with going over Mystery Incorporated lore? The fact that Scooby is actually the descendant of alternate alternate dimension d dimensional aliens. How uh, Professor Parakeet is probably like why side of the cave, the skull, only general fans and get away with it. I have no idea who you're talking about, but okay. But, uh, like how Scooby-Doo is literally the descendant of, like, ultra-dimensional aliens, and that's why he can talk. The fact that, that a fucking parrot is probably, like, nearly 130 years old. Harlem, Harlem Globetrotters, okay. I'm sorry, I looked at that and didn't really, uh, understand what the fuck I was saying. Also, hello, Tex. We're you're in the middle. You just joined for my discussion of the Scooby Doo lore. Welcome. The Scooby Doo, PV Slime explains Scooby Doo lore with ASMR of fire and rain. 
with the with the crackling of a fireplace and the sounds of rain. Generals were arrived to I didn't know that happened. I don't remember that happening. That's probably an episode I've n I haven't watched yet because holy shit, there's a lot of Scooby Doo. But uh, <laughs> what do you think they're doing in those things? Like, <laughs> this is creepy. Apples and finish. Jesus Christ. Not joking, it was a real event. Wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Scooby Doo Harlem Globetrotters Giants. No joking, but uh, I am joking. But the but it's a real event. The the, the generals and the glow charters play yearly. Huh? Okay. <laughs> the thing is, like modern day stuff. Whenever I hear stuff about like the Harlan Glow Trotters, for some reason I always think of Futurama now because of, like how much stuff they have. Is the fact that the Harlan Glow Trotters and Futurama. Are fucking aliens. How Professor Farnsworth nearly broke causality just to beat them at a game of basketball. Hey, honey. I will. Thank you. And for June, most 100% sure they taste like uh, green apples and papaya. The fuck is a papaya? Like this isn't like a joke, but I don't even know. What, I don't. I don't think I know what a papaya is. And, I, and I'm someone who's stu who's studying to become a chef, and I don't know what a papaya is. It sounds familiar. That's the problem with me. It's just like that sounds like ridiculously familiar. Trackable food. They funky. <laughs> they vibin'. So, oh, also, so a thing I want to add, I want to say for a text, for you text. So when I was, so, when I was asked to roll stuff for uh, Candy Smith's sheet. I was not expecting her to be a big titty assassin, and I'm all for it. I'm all for her just coming out of Icewind Dale with giant tits somehow. And I just find that funny how I'm just like, alright, that makes sense. I mean, <laughs> given the fact that originally she went in with red eye, red eyes and white hair, and she came out with blonde hair and, bl and green eyes, so it's just like, well, shit, weird shit happened, Icewind Dale. Well, I did need one person with some tits. Anya has, <laughs> has almost none. She has a family at a truck side ass. <laughs> <laughs> Although I am an ass man as it is based, I can appreciate a pair of cans that can crush cans. <laughs> a pair of cans that can crush bands? <laughs> what? <laughs> crush cans. Okay, that's what I figured. I. <laughs> that's what I figured. I'm just making sure.
I now have a fuck ton of batteries. Let's go. The alcohol is hitting is hitting hard. I got more to add more mixer. <laughs> Hey, uh... <laughs> oh god, this is just... <laughs> this stream is already fairly interesting. Oh, I need to double check something quickly. Star... You... Star you got me. Pardon me. But, uh... Yes, I understand what you mean, though. <laughs> I do intend to have her use them to suffocate someone at some point, by the way. That is definitely a plan I have. And I will definitely do it. <laughs> and no one can stop me! I'm gonna make mac and cheese, and no one can stop me, Spider-Man! <laughs> You're too late, Spider-Man! We've been legalized! <laughs> Why is that quote? Like, weirdly hilarious to me, no matter what. I am waiting for this wood to grow even more before I harvest it, so... Yeah. I will now leave. I've taken my sacrifice of one tree for now. <laughs> so... So, why did the party need someone with some tits? I wanna know. Like, that's actually one thing I want to know. My man is gonna crush you cause death by suffocation of testicles. <laughs> Basically, yes. But I have to ask, why were, uh... I have to add text, text. I have to ask, why were a pair of, why were a pair of big tits needed at some point? Or was there just there's just another there's just something that needed a person with large breasts on the team that I am pro probably very much unaware of because of various reasons <laughs> or because of various raisins mostly cranberry today I saw a balloon. Only one team on the entire party, and she has bees. Oh god, we're- okay, so... So... She has full plate armor and is often mistaken for a male. <laughs> then we get candy. 
who, for some reason, no matter what, she will always end up with big titties. Like, that's a trend for the character. Like, no matter what, she'll always end up with titties. She'll always end up with big booba. Big hunk of dog knows. Another NPC who interacts with them willingly is a C. <laughs> What would- what would that put Candy on, like, because of the chart? What would Candy be on that chart, then? Like, in terms of, like, actual cup size? That's my main question. Take me with you! <laughs> About double D or E. Ah, yes! The name of Candy forever shall have Big Booba. <laughs> of course. Double D, I'd say. Yeah, probably double D. I, I don't want to go absurd. Like, she will definitely suffocate someone with them. I will say that. The person will most likely either have the most, most pleasant death ever or the most violent death ever. Either way, they shall be they shall be killed by the titty. As far as I learned for women, boob Evie is real. Oh yeah, no, no, it definitely is. Like, like literally, the, a girl from from my sister's old school was so jealous of my sister because she actually developed because she was actually developing, while this while this other girl legitimately didn't eat properly, didn't ha have a healthy diet at all. And was literally a twig. And she got mad that my sister was actually, you know, taking care of herself somewhat. So I will eventually be crushed to death by honest eyes. <laughs> and Candy will be there to watch because she because she does enjoy interesting ways of killing someone. That's something I'll say right there is that. She definitely has an interest in odd ways of death. So death by thighs will definitely be something that she'll want to see. <laughs> also, I am very excited for the sketch work of... Uh, of of uh, candy being added in when we had do when that artwork eventually does drop, it will be quite interesting. I wonder what she'll think of my signature kill move. <laughs> oh my! But how about death by boiling someone blood while they're still alive by a magic? Considering it's a supernatural in nature. <laughs> I'd actually love to let know about that signature move. Uh, hold on, I need to go find all my wood. Tomorrow morning, I'm going over to go see... How much is going to be to build two more, uh, huts? <coughs> I ah, asked yes, the spell that she carries all the time. <laughs> I am confused and scared. Sh should I be? I point at something, it gets the aura of undeath, and I swing. Ah, yes. Head be gone -eth. If you look at me, you die in, you die in five to ten years. <laughs> I'd love to point out that that's actually an SCP, and it's one of the weirder ones. Oh, sleep rumor. Eh. 
it just dies. And everyone died. The end. I should actually go check on uh, Shane. <laughs> if you look at me, you'll eventually die. I don't. I don't know when. I know for a fact that you'll die whenever after you look at me. I don't know when, but it will happen. Oh, give me like five to six more business days. Also, recently, I saw a comic where De Danny Phantom actually did die when he entered the machine. It's just that death decided to give him a fate worse than death. And they commented, what a very strange machine. Please wait for your eventual death within, <laughs> within 10 to 15, 14 business days. I actually remember a little story that someone wrote that was of uh, death. Uh, everyone has like an hourglass that death keeps track of. And one point while he's doing some spring cleaning, he finds that one of them is uh, was knocked over and got offset. Got, was knocked over and didn't get reset. And, and, and that literally goes to visit the person personally. And set, and in the end, it's actually John Wick. <laughs> it's not John Wick, but it's, uh... Ah, uh, fuck, what's his name? I'm trying to remember. I'm not trying to silver hand, it's uh... I'm actually trying to remember the name of the actor now, fuck. I know the actor! I know his name! God damn my ADHD brain! Oh, hey, Willy. Keanu Reeves, thank you. Hey, Marnie, I need to go talk to you. Oh. Hey, Shane, you look unusually, ha unusually happy today. You're right. I haven't felt like felt this light since I was a kid. Let me guess. Guess I had Clarence Salem canned beer. <laughs> that explained why he never aged. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Reaper realized that he was doing like some basically his equivalent of spring cleaning. He found the he found the hourglass for Keanu Reeves under his desk and went like, "Oh shit, uh, I, I need to go talk to I I need to let this guy know what what's going on like stat because like because like this shouldn't happen. I, I should warn him that he's gonna be starting to age again soon. So he goes to Keanu Reeves himself and basically explains that. It was an accident. We're not going to like age you instantaneously or anything, but do know that from now on you will be aging normally. Good one. Now, actually, I've been drinking sparkling water instead of beer. I feel great. Oh, so I threw the, the mayor's underwear in the community. To her last summer, I played Lamau. Oh God! I just gave him his underwear. You know, I sometimes forget that I really do have friends, people that care about me. 
And it's okay for me to rely on them. It doesn't make me weak. I used the chair glitch to do it. How fucking course he did. Hey Jody, I got you something. Aww. Th these are real bunny jewel slippers. I only talked to 10 people so far, but these are so expensive. How did you afford them? I got back in an expensive habit. I got a lot more spending money now. I refuse to associate with the betas around, around me in, this, in the town. <laughs> okay then. Uncle Shane's in the barn. He said he... He said to tell you he wants to show you something. Okay. Um... All I heard was real bunny girl slippers. <laughs> that should do it. Shane? Shane, what genetic witchcraft have you done? And these slippers made out of bunny girls? No. Sh Shane, what the fuck have you done to these chickens? Why are they blue? What the hell is wrong with you? Why are you blue? This is the perfect tone for the heads. <laughs> One of the finest monster girls <laughs> will have the best days in the whole valley. Fresh, healthy, and rich with golden yolks, like, not like those pale, sickly Joja eggs. He gave them depression. <laughs> I'm pretty sure depression is not good for chickens. <sighs> you know, Curly? I was thinking. You turn them into burglars. <laughs> a guy like me is always tooting on the edge of despair. You know what I mean? That chicken, that chicken's just looking at him like, "Do it really right now? You're going to vent." But you and the other hens are going to keep me upright from now on. I know it. What's wrong? Too much pressure? <laughs> that chicken is just looking at him, just like. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's, like, he's recovering from depression. Hey, James, so what do you think? Uh... Why are they blue? My special blue hens. I'm raising them for a secret for the last few months. I, well... Ooh. I won't be living here forever, and I wanted to pass something on to Jess. I've been teaching her how to care for them. He likes me. I want to feel like I'm not just a leech on the world. I contribute somehow, even in a small way like this. I... I just want to understand why the fuck are they blue? I need to purchase supplies. And I call that give them depression. They have to deal with it. <laughs> so the reason that they have depression is because they have to deal with him. Hey Shane, what a great attached to Marnie chickens. Actually, can I be able to buy these chickens? Aw, oh, it's locked. Aw. Mostly empty pizza cartons. <laughs> but, uh... De definitely... I want to try to get blue chickens. I don't know if you can actually get blue chickens in this game. I don't know. 
Actually, hold on. Let me look that up. Can you get blue chickens? Oh, okay. Actually, hold on. Let me see. let me get one blue chicken. Then <laughs> I want at least one. I don't want to replace my entire my entire uh, supply of chickens. I just want one. Hold on. Actually, nah, not right now. I'll wait until I build another coop. Which, I need to get over to, uh, Robin's right now. <laughs> gotta run, gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. Hey, chat, run, I, I, run out of time. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. You guys ever just, like, want, like, a soft pretzel at random? Like, randomly want one of those, like, soft, giant pretzels that you get at, like, the... Hey, if I can stop that by a small wheel amount. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know, I understand. Uh, construct farm buildings. We'll build that later, but for now, I need to build a shed. Let's actually build it right here. I feel like it would be good. Yeah, right there. Alright, get to work on that. Wood chipper. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So I'm gonna end off the stream with a skull carvings run. I feel would actually be pretty appropriate. Yeah, I looked it up. I, I was going to look it up and. I, the first thing I saw was, can you get blue chickens without marrying Shane? I'm like, you can I, I'm like, oh yeah, there's marriage stuff in this game. How did I forget about that? How did I forget about there being romance options in this game? Finally, Sea World Ohio. Finally, I've arrived. You gotta get myself a prince like. Oh, I know. Like there was a at the uh, water park where I I only eat the shit out of fried dough. <laughs> like uh, at a water park where I uh, in, in in New Mexico, uh, me and my family went to all the time. There was these very soft pretzels but that they served that were, like, so good. I see you're a Maxor fan. Indeed I am! 
His editing, his editing style weirdly like makes my brain happy, so I really do like him. But uh, for but uh, definitely, where the fuck was I? Oh yeah, for a very soft pretzel, there uh, there was a water park in the in town I lit and I grew up in in New Mexico. That had a uh, Russian Badger Maxar crossover was great. Oh yeah, no, like when King when they got to King Midos and I heard and I heard the voice. I'm like, wait a minute, is that who I think it is? <laughs> well, that was my immediate thought. Was wait a minute, this guy sounds familiar. <laughs> it was it's a Russian fucking Badger. That sounds... Yeah, Perry, bro. Maybe. <laughs> Time to learn. Like, legitimately, I was surprised with, like, how steady... Because the thing is that I'm used to the Russian Badger's voice having, like, a lot of inflection behind it. Like, the thing is, like, I'm used to the Russian Badger's voice having, like, a lot of inflection and, like, um... Like craziness behind it, because that's usually how he talks for video and videos and such. But hearing him in like a weirdly smooth and calm voice was so weird that I didn't think it was Badger at first. So it's like uh, chops the man. He made me believe that it wasn't. He didn't. Ma he made me believe it wasn't him for a moment. Of course, I did look. Th of course, I did look at the uh, credits. I'm like, yeah, no, that's the Russian badger. That was the Russian badger. Of course, it was. It why wouldn't he? Uh, why wouldn't he uh, voice act for some for something from this fucking crazy asshole? <laughs> Once he talked about being on perks, I knew it was him. <laughs> Oh god, of course it was the perks. The thing is, I'm I'm I haven't watched Batman in like a bit, so I don't know if the perks thing was like a newer joke or whatnot. So unfortunately, I'm not entirely sure. But we, I, I I didn't I didn't know for sure if it was him or not. So yeah. HFHFY running out of time. You gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, 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 Hey guys, I figured that you'd enjoy this heater. Oh god, I forgot how many rabbits there are in here. There's so many rabbits. I just need to fly, running out of time. Alright, so... A part of me wants to move the barn for the pigs over here. Cordon off this area right here. And his crew is crazy as fuck, especially... Being Skulker, Heavenly, and Grouse. Oh yeah, no, no. I. <laughs> Weirdly enough, the entire crew is it actually contains Heavenly's uh like weirdly more chaotic energy. Like weirdly enough, that like the crew actually keeps Heavenly under control or in containment. I guess would be a better term. Have you seen his like VTuber stuff when he like? Like him when he's just in, with him by himself with other people that aren't in the Russian the like Badger crew, like the stuff he says and gets up to is just like holy shit. His chaos is kept in check by the other retards. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. Dear God.
Yeah, his chaos is kept in check by the other chaos chaotic assholes. Hey, honey. May I check in? Maybe, maybe I made the bed and everything. Yeah. Good night. Good night, kiss. Yeah. And heavenly did the I tell the A he just chaotic neutral with to a T. <laughs> oh yeah, I actually saw a clip recently of like that VTuber high school thing that there that him that him and a bunch of other VTubers are doing at the moment, and when he just pulls up with the fucking <laughs> with the actual statue of Lincoln, it's just like oh my god. The guy's a super villain. <laughs> hey, Benny. I got up early and watered some of the crops for you. Thank you. Oh, thanks. Thanks, honey. I'm gonna be heading off to work, so, uh. Oh, thank you, Linus. I'm gonna be heading off to work. I will be back in roughly a day. Eight. None of you fuckers can win a your life as your fools by. Hey, you got a DC. You got a Metro Pass. You got a Metro Pass back there. <laughs> that has to be one of my favorite things with Heavenly. It's just his obsession with a Metro Pass. Wait, I need to quickly. True quote from Russian Basher. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> hey, no, that shit you ain't playing a game like this before. I got fucking receipt. I'm gonna go quickly pet all the animals, and then I'm gonna go rush down the Skull Caverns. Oh, yeah, you wanna know something, uh, that was actually both hilarious and fucking horrifying when I- what well, while I've been playing this game over streams? At one point, I didn't realize that there was a bunny in one of the barns that I- in a coop I got. I didn't realize that there was a rabbit in there. For like... Like a majority of the streams. So, or like a majority of the streams. I didn't know that there was a rabbit in there. And so like, randomly I walked in, and there was just a rabbit in there. By itself. Una just by itself, unable to go anywhere. <laughs> because I kept the door shut. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, that's horrifying for that fucking rabbit. Give me all the staircases you can give. Thank you. Alright. Can't wait to see you try to box. Can't wait to see you try to box out the demons of your past and skull tapping. I'm sorry, what? What's this about Skull Tavern? If this is like a Curse of Straw thing, okay, that's actually kind of cool. If it isn't, what the fuck? Boxing out means throwing hands. Ah, okay. 
I mean, that's what I figured, but still. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. First treasure floor. Oh, I should probably eat my uh, lefty food. Hold on. I should quickly uh, eat this. And drink this. <laughs> oh god, this got me another good day. Also, that's why I figured when I came to throwing hands, that's what you meant. Oh, hello. Just a free fucking thing. Ah, press my X shard, that's pretty good. Another one. I'm getting a lot of hats today. Geronimo! Oh, wow. That's actually a very long job. fast. Ah. 
Aha! <laughs> Those poor crabs had no idea what was coming for them. But I'll never see you coming! Oh god. That's ginger ale, let's go. Oh dear god! So I'm not talking too much, I'm just focusing on surviving this. Jump! Well, fuck. Jump! Geronimo! Yeah. 
Yeah, Necrons! At least these ain't Tyranids, oh god. If any of these things are Tyranids, it'd be fucking terrifying. I saw a meme earlier that my uh, that one of my friends who's a D who's also a DM most of the time. Uh, he sent me a meme that was okay. I'm warning you guys. There's only one mimic in this entire campaign. NPC. Several sessions later. You know, whenever I look up at the moon, I feel like it's looking back at me. You know. Moon Mimic. Yeah. I get plenty of these. So many bugs in these caverns. Ooh, hello. Jump. I've been getting some uh, good uh, luck on prismatic shards.
you know, lucky lunch. Let's go. I can actually get around this. Ah, damn it. <laughs> That's the third dark cowboy hat, Jesus Christ. Too many hats for the collection. Let's check out the hole. Thanks, Dr. Harvey. Oh, someone else? No, oh, thanks, Kent. Finish up this thing and then I'll call it a day for the stream. <laughs> Definitely one of my favorite things to do is Skull Caverns runs, but they are just like one of the most boring parts of the stream for it, I'm guessing, because I'm just so hyper focused on them. down there. Yeah, it's because you're like needing to like hyper focus because you don't want to die. Because if you die you lose a bunch of the shit that you got. Hey kitty. Dinner, rewarming pizza. Have a good stream. 
Yeah, no, don't worry. I'm playing and streaming like a little bit. Have a good night, man. <laughs> Got little, uh, got little Caesars waiting for me. <laughs> yeah, have a good, have a good dinner, man. I will. And I cannot wait until next weekend that we get to play the D and D game because I'm a little because I'm excited because I get to because a I'm gonna be able to play Curse of Strahd, which I have never been able to play before. So <laughs> it'll be perfect. Oh, yeah, you're collecting peppers right now. Shit's gonna be nuts. I figured. Uh, between streams, I will definitely reorganize the, uh, the pigs. Because I don't feel like they need as big of a space as I've given them. Okay, all the pigs have been padded. But yeah, I figured that shit's gonna be nuts when, uh... When we finally get to that. Which will be kind of interesting to see how Candy just not only gets there, but also how shit's gonna play out. <laughs> Check. Actually, there's the second one. Yep, uh, one of the new things have been made, so I'm gonna be filling that up with cakes in a bit. I'll actually do that uh, off stream. Right now, I am exhausted. I'm just gonna finish up the the daily chores. That's where we're going to end up for today. Hope everyone had a good time. I know I did. I'll see you guys later.